Hi. Now, in the first part of this question, we were asked to express 3 sine theta plus 4 cos theta in the form r sine theta plus alpha, where r was greater than 0 and alpha was an angle between 0 and 90 degrees. And if you did that question, the answer was 5 sine of theta plus 53.1 degrees. Now, in part 2, it says hence find the values of the positive constants k and c such that minus 37 is less than or equal to k multiplied by 3 sine theta plus 4 cos theta plus c which is also less than or equal to 43 for all values of theta. So if you'd like to try and find those values of the constants k and c just give you a moment to pause the video if you haven't done this question do come back when ready and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Well, first of all, let's just copy down the question. We're given that minus 37 is less than or equal to k multiplied by all of 3 sine theta plus 4 cos theta. And then if we add the C, this is less than or equal to 43. Now it says hence, so it must have something to do with this particular question here. And it does because this part inside the brackets we can see is represented as 5 sine of theta plus 53.1 degrees. So if I multiply this with the k, what I'm going to have is going to be 5k sine of theta plus 53.1 okay, degrees. And then I'm going to add the c. And this value here lies between minus 37 and 43. OK, inclusive. We'll just put a therefore there, OK? Now, to find out the constants k and c, looking at this expression in the middle of this inequality, the only thing that's going to vary is this part here, the sine of theta plus 53.1 degrees. And as a function, sine can only go between minus 1 and 1. So that means that for the minimum value of this, it will be when this function here of sine is minus 1. And the maximum value will be attained when this is 1. So let's just have a look at the, we'll start with the maximum value. Let's just say when the sine of theta plus 53 point one degrees equals one. When it does, we're just going to have 5k times one, that'll be 5k plus c. And that's got to equal this maximum value of 43. So therefore, what we're going to have is 5k plus c must equal 43. And if we do a similar thing now, for the minimum value of the sine of theta plus 53.1, remember that minimum value is going to be minus 1. Then we're going to have 5k times negative 1, so it's going to be minus 5k, plus the c must be equal to the minimum value that this can attain, which is minus 37. So therefore, we've got minus 5k plus c equals minus 37. So what I've got here is two simultaneous equations. So I'm going to number them 1 and 2. Okay, And we've got to solve these now to get the values of k and c. And so looking at these two equations, if I were to add them together, I'll get rid of the 5k. 
okay the k terms here so if we just put down here that if we do 1 plus equation 2 what does that give us okay we'll just say gives so if we add these two together the k terms cancel out and we've got c plus another c so therefore we're going to get 2c equals and then we've got 43 add minus 37 which is going to give us 6 so it follows from this that c must be equal to 3. We've got c equals 3 now. All I've got to do is sub c equals 3 into any equation. I'm going to go into equation 1. And so therefore if we do that we therefore have 5k plus 3 equals 43. So we've got 5k plus 3 equals 43. Subtract 3 from both sides you've got 5k equals 40 and then divide both sides by 5 and you end up with k equaling 8. So just to summarize we've therefore got c equals 3 and k equaling 8. All right so an unusual question I think uh, when we are dealing with this kind of form. So if you got it, well done. If you didn't, well I hope you've been able to follow what I've done. Okay?